One token that's been under pressure for some time is Ripple's XRP token. The question many investors have is, can XRP have a better year in 2022? Though the cryptocurrency space has been under pressure lately, some signs indicate that digital coins will become well-respected programming and financial tools. So, as a whole, there's reason to believe this crypto winter can't last forever, and the snow may be melting. Generally speaking, whether it's a company or a crypto project, investors don't like litigation. When it's the Securities and Exchange Commission that's putting forward a lawsuit, even less so. According to the website The Motley Fool, XRP's biggest headwinds right now is the SEC lawsuit that was handed to Ripple, the parent company behind XRP, in late 2020. This litigation has been pending for more than a year now. However, CEO of Ripple Brad Garlinghouse aims for a 2022 conclusion to the entire SEC drama. And he considers the conclusion of this litigation to potentially be a positive one for this project. Garlinghouse stated that U.S. Magistrate Judge Sarah Netburn seems to understand the crypto market's complex nature and that every digital asset must not be treated in the same manner. In other words, the CEO looks forward to a reasonably positive outcome fairly soon. Be it for cryptos or stocks, investors don't like uncertainty. And the overhang from a lawsuit proves to be a big deal for them. In fact, investors prefer knowing that the underlying business model of their chosen investment won't face disruption in any major way. Unfortunately, a series of hearing delays led this crypto to face a considerable amount of uncertainty regarding this matter. However, now that investors can expect a resolution this year, there's reason to believe that certainty could be around the corner for this cryptocurrency. The Ripple payments system is finding new real-world use cases globally. For instance, Morocco's biggest bank joined the RippleNet blockchain network a few days back. Also, in the summer of 2020, Spanish megabank Banco Santander joining the network. This financial institution also formed its own international payment services based on XRP and RippleNet. Additionally, RippleNet's customer list features other blue-chip American lending institutions among its customers. However, it's expected that XRP's growth as a cross-border payments solution is likely to be slower than usual until this SEC litigation is resolved. XRP is certainly an interesting token to consider right now. On the one hand, Ripple has found a way to create tremendous utility via low-cost, fast, cross-border payments utilizing XRP and RippleNet. However, this ongoing SEC litigation is likely to continue to eat into investor sentiment at least over the near term. Accordingly, those looking to time the bottom on this token may have a difficult time. There's always the potential the SEC could prevail in its lawsuit and shut this project down. That's a worst-case investors hope won't happen but some may think the risk is simply too high to justify an investment now. According to Finance Feeds, the SEC's evidence against Ripple is being disclosed to the public and analyzed by attorney Jeremy Hogan as Magistrate Annalisa Torres prepares key rulings very soon, including on whether the fair notice defense survives. Last week, the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit saw Judge Annalisa Torres back in the game by ruling mostly against a Ripple motion to seal exhibits. The move, however, was deemed as a great sign for XRP holders and the defendants. Jeremy Hogan, one of the popular attorneys friendly with the XRP community, shared a video in which he analyzes the SEC's evidence against Ripple and explains his excitement regarding the takeover by Magistrate Torres. The common law of public access to judicial documents is firmly rooted in our nation's history. This presumption of access is based on the need for federal courts to have a measure of accountability and for the public to have confidence in the administration of justice, the court argued in favor of public disclosure of the evidence against Ripple. Her order will let us see many of the documents that will take place on February 17, and we have access to three pieces of actual evidence that we can look at, Jeremy Hogan commented.
pointing that evidence 179 to 4 and 179 to 5 are very important for the SEC. As to 179 to 4, a couple of paragraphs could hurt the Ripple case as Brad Garlinghouse told employees about XRP holders' expectations in regard to the price of XRP and Ripple's power over the digital asset. Despite a proven track record of being good stewards of XRP, we had continued to hear concerns in the market that Ripple could, hypothetically, sell our 61 billion XRP at any time, a scenario that would certainly be bad for Ripple. So with the decision to lock up 55 billion XRP in escrow, we have given investors a predictable supply schedule and removed what skeptics have suggested has been a barrier to broader XRP adoption. Jeremy Hogan read the piece of evidence and found that Ripple does seem to put a lot of thought and effort into the XRP's price, and the use of the word investors is unfortunate. It's not all that bad for Ripple as it was sent only to Ripple employees, and the issue was whether XRP purchasers expect Ripple to increase the price of XRP. XRP holders back in 2017 never saw this email, he added. As to 179 to 5, in this document, Chris Larson responds to an XRP holder about the impact of Ripple's business expansion on the price of XRP. The SEC might want to use the evidence to support its claim that Ripple sold XRP as a security. The strategy of focusing on connecting banks serves both emerging trends. The more banks connect through Ripple Connect and ILP, the more demand we should see for XRP as an asset to reduce liquidity costs. Jeremy Hogan read the piece of evidence and found that it is simply a factual statement that the price of XRP will increase as more banks use Ripple products. There's no promise of a price increase in this answer at all. These will be the SEC's evidence that XRP purchasers were relying on Ripple to increase XRP's price. I just hope for the SEC that they have more and better evidence than these two documents, Hogan said. As to Judge Annalisa Torres, now that she is back in business, Jeremy Hogan believes we'll get a ruling on three dispositive motions very soon, including the long-awaited and key ruling on whether the fair notice defense survives.